morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Mahesh. Uh, today, we are going to talk about uh, the pricing analyst only. I'm not going to give you some big theories or uh, science class. So the core focus is the pricing analyst. Um, we did a survey of about 14 airlines around the world and re video recorded what the pricing analysts were saying as the challenges. So some of these things came as an immediate input. So unanimous input of most of these was that we had to do a lot of work. I mean, a lot of work, a lot of manual work. And generally, the feeling was that they were leaving money on the table. Whatever they did, they had to start like zero every day, and they were leaving a lot of money on the table. So we said, when I say we, it was a bunch of airline guys. I used to work in Emirates. And a group of us decided that, OK, it's high time we take up a tough challenge and solve it. And that's the kind of Emirates ethos. So what did we do? We said, let's come up with a platform, and we called it Jupiter. Jupiter, obviously, is the largest uh, planet with uh, sort of complex. So when we started addressing this problem, one of the biggest uh, challenges was data. As we have heard last two days, data is disparate. And, and to convert every data into the OD platform, which is point of sale OD compartment, uh, for example, if, if I ask people to convert social media data into a market, uh, it's a kind of a challenge. So we, we took uh, some help from a lot of uh, analytics guys. And the whole idea of first six months of our project was to convert data to make it sensible for pricing. So we actually took the airline data. We took market data like MIDT, PaxSys, um, Infair, ADP Co. And then we started looking at global data, because there's a lot of information available in Google and stuff like that, and social media data. And then a lot of data that we wanted, we created. For example, we wanted to create a product database. So we created a product database. We wanted to create a competitor's database. We created a competitor's database. So a combination of all this data, we actually put it into a big lake. We said, let's put that first, and then try and solve the problem. Then, of course, started this whole logic of translating it into what is it relevant for pricing. So we started writing algorithms to make sense and bring it down to that point of sale OD compartment and bring it connected back to the ATP Co. Fair. That took us some time. That took us about a year. And then finally, we started using uh, machine learning and algorithms. Uh, we hired somebody who's in the room here. Prem, are you here somewhere? Can I see you? Wherever he is. I can't see the lights. Oh, there he is. So he used to write code for casinos. So we thought it's a good idea. It's a big gamble. So we hired him. And he started writing game theory uh, applications on this data. And finally, what do we have is a proactive mode of working. So what is it now? So the idea was to create fares. Create fares, so from scratch. Create a fare, take it to its filing, and maintain its performance, manage it for its lifetime. So that was the intent of the, of the whole platform. Secondly, we had to give easy workflows to make sure that they do it very comfortably. We didn't want things to happen. So the, the whole technology was designed in such a way that previous day, everything happens at night. When the pricing analyst comes, he will see this set of performance parameters fully evaluated using big data analytics and machine learning. So these are the complete set of parameters that he needs to evaluate at any point in time. So we took all these parameters, and then he comes to office using these pricing models. So we, we use multiple models, about 15 models we use. Uh, Completer by a match, uh, we do a classic oligopoly model. We look at market share based. Uh, we look at optimal price points or inventory based. And then we can extrapolate those into these variables that you see in the secondary selections. And then the system recommends for every fair file, whether public, private, or corporate, or travel agent, it comes up with a recommendation real time. So when they come to office in the morning, the system would have already done this calculation of looking at each and every competitor real time for each market. So we look at the product rating of the competitor. We look at the capacity and schedule of the competitor. We look at the airline rating of the competitor, market rating, fares rating, distributors rating. We do this every night for every market. So once we get this rating, we are able to do complete integration with ATP Co. Fares. Uh, we actually managed to complete uh, creating a single line record for ATP Co. for all the categories. So it's a single line record. Uh, we use a technology called MongoDB, which is a big database, uh, uh, NoSQL database. 
And in that, we are able to store a single line record of ATP code. So with the fares in place, this is what the pricing analyst sees when he comes in the morning. So top line is his performance, which is uh, for the current month, for next month, next two months, next three months, which is the visibility that they want to see. All those key parameters that you see on the top. These triggers that you see are the triggers that the system generates the previous day or the, the night before. And it tells you what kind of problems do you have in your data. It, you can do that by uh, origin destination. You can do it by different types. You can do it by status of where it stands. And then the last side, uh, the bottom part of the dashboard, gives you the events that I have to take care of and the results, which is his personal KPIs. So on the, on the rightmost corner, you see his KPIs. All he has to do is click here, and it takes him to a workflow central where it is a one-click accept for the fare changes. So we give them all possible fares that needs change based on all those criteria, market by market, or you can select a group of markets, or you can just do a global accept. The moment you do this, level one, which is the easiest one to do, or we have level two, where we look at fares, we look at flights, we look at competitor summaries, we look at in -fare data, we look at all the booking, sales, market, competitor performance, literally every nook and corner of that data lake that we got can be reviewed for complex decisions. So it's one screen, one decision center. And then we go into reviewing your fares, if you want to do it independently, and again, for doing global changes, we can show you the performance, 65 parameter performance for every fare, and allow you to fare, change those fares the way you want based on business rules. Once you've done that, we have a central platform called the Work Package Manager, where all the fares done by all the users come in centrally, and you can just file them off with an automated input to ADP Co. We do both fares and rules. Now coming to that, everybody talks about analytics. So we thought, how does the pricing analyst look at it? So after they've done their day's job, which is filing all the fares and doing things, we said there are always questions. So some questions pop up in your mind. So questions, we said, let's write down all the questions. We wrote about 350 questions. We short shortlisted about 200 questions. So our analytics module is just question and answer. So for example, I want to know what are my junk fares. So ATPCO in Fare Manager has this beautiful feature called junk fares. We upgraded it. Fares that don't work for me also go into the junk fares. So created a question and answer session. Click on this, you will be able to resolve it just like you did before. So each of these analytics questions are questions which you answer and then file it back to ADPCO or manage it. Finally, what is the innovation? So one is, of course, we have about 12 FAIR models, which, which currently is not available as, I, as, as I'm aware. You can change things. And for most of the activities, they're all templates. You do it once, the system stores it. That's part of the machine learning code we have written. If you've done one promotion one way, it'll store it. You'll just run the same promotion again. Then, of course, we have a number of uh, snap data that we hold, which is completely to ensure that we are able to capture trend for every piece of data that we capture. Finally, this is the profile of the product. Plenty of stuff. It took us about five years to code and build this. Uh, we wanted to be the best kept secret, but we have our first customer right now. Um, next, we want to get into offers, autopilot, and analytics. And last but not the least, that's the team that has done it. Good job. Well done. Thank you. Okay, Mahesh. Yes. Well done, keeping on time. Yes, thank Just you. It's like you practiced that to the art. Um, so, a lot going on there, yes. right? And I'm sitting trying to take it all in. What's the core business problem? If you were to say to an airline, I'm here and I'm going to fix, make you more efficient at X. Yeah. So basically, the, uh, the, the core business problem is the time to market, of course, for the pricing analyst. Right. And secondly, uh, they're able to be proactive about the whole thing. So the whole concept of doing everything the previous night, mm -hmm. when they come to morning, the events that have happened around the world, the competitor fair changes, right. everything is taken care in the previous day, and they want to be proactive about what they want to do. Because most of the industry concept has been to be reactive to things. Mm -hmm. Here the idea is by taking in those 65 parameters, which is internal, external, social, global, all of them put together, when you consider and then put all that into a recipe and come up with an optimization, optimization theory to come up with an optimal price, and system says accept. Right. So you know it, it takes you a step forward than always reacting to, a, let's so say, a competitor get, change. So you, you have the capability to allow the airline to be a little more proactive Absolutely. on their that's the idea. Yeah. And in terms of implementation and case studies, yes. 
Right. Have you got, can you point to successes in terms of by adopting this airline X, we're able to generate Y? Yeah. So we have, only, we have just finished the product in about uh, August of this year. Right. We have the first customer who's going live on 4th of November. Uh, but we have already seen benefits on the pilot run in terms of the amount of time they save, uh, okay. in terms of uh, the potential that they have with the number of fares they are floating, mm -hmm. and the speed to market is obviously increased in the pilot run. Okay. But obviously, we will need some more time to get the real gist of the, uh, the benefits. But the productivity benefit itself is pretty humongous. Okay. Yeah. Good. Right. Interesting product, lots of data. I like the game theory aspect. Yes. I'm going to come and quiz you on that later Absolutely. On. Please, okay. feel free. And we have well a brain who will answer that. Oh, yeah. And you're also outside, so everybody can come talk to you. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much.